hey, I'm going to show you why it's important to use long tail keywords and it's not as important to go for all, all high engagement, all green in Marmalade. And I'm going to use Marmalade, the comparison tool, to show you. And if you've not used Marmalade before, it's worth going to look at because it's a very good tool to uh, find good keywords for your Etsy shop. And it's Etsy specific. So that's a good thing. Now, I have maybe one item in this shop that is unicorn related, but the word unicorn keeps coming up in the search terms that people are using to find the shop. So unicorns are popular. We know that. And um, if you don't have a unicorn item, go get one. But you know, it's, it's all over unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. There's one right there. So what, what I tend to see is people saying, I've got a unicorn, I've got a unicorn, uh, invitation and I use a digital, digital download. Let me see. The whole phrase is unicorn party invitation, digital download. Okay. That's my long tail keyword. That's what I would put at the front of my title and in the tags repeated exactly in that order because you want to match exactly the most important keyword in your title. Now, what I see people doing is they would, they'll put unicorn party invitation, digital download, comma, unicorn invitation, comma, invitation uh, download. And you don't need to do that. As long as the words are in one keyword and they're in your listing title or tags once, you don't need to repeat them again. Etsy will find you and they will find you for not only this long tail keyword, but this keyword and this keyword and this keyword. So if you only put digital download and you ignore the unicorn stuff, you're really missing out and you're not going to be found for anything that has unicorn. So this is what happens. So you start with digital download. That's the most general description of this item. It has high engagement, but the competition is over 50,000 items are listed in Etsy that are digital downloads and have that in the title or tags. So you're not going to be able to be found for that. So let's put, make it more specific, unicorn digital download. Now there's only 4,400 results. So that's better. It's still kind of high, but if you put unicorn party digital download, and that's the full thing I have here, that knocks out even more because that means that 2000 listings do not have the word party in their title or tags. So you've just added this one word and gotten rid of 2,000 competing listings. Okay, so the last one is the Unicorn Party Invitation Digital Download, and that just knocked out another 1,800 listings. So you're down to 582 competing listings. If, if this is the exact phrase that people are searching for, you have a better chance of being found for that. Now, the, the argument that um, you have to have the higher engagement all the time, as long as your competition is that low, you really don't. And if if somebody searches for unicorn invitation, you're going to be found because those words are here. I'm not sure what kind of engagement that has because I didn't use that as an individual keyword. But if someone searches for unicorn party digital download, it will be found even though the word invitation is in the middle of those two phrases because Etsy doesn't care. They look for the words in your title or tags. They put them together. They'll pull it out and they'll find you for this keyword. So you don't have to repeat things. And by having this long tail keyword as your main keyword at the front of your title, you've now made yourself apparent to all of these people. Like you've, you've made yourself a, a, in competition with only 582 if someone searches for that. It has moderate engagement, low competition. I would go ahead and do more research on this. But, you know, honestly, I would just put this at the front of the title because this is all getting decent results here. Um, digital download is obviously high engagement. It is very high competition. So I'm I'm not going to probably be found if someone just searches for that. But generally, they're searching for something more specific. And we know that unicorns are popular. So it's worth trying. Um, definitely go for a long tail keyword. And I'm talking like five or six words, not just not three. That's to me, that's not a long tail keyword. So I'm talking like a five or six word keyword at the front of your title, repeat it in your tags. And then the rest of your title and tags are for other stuff. You don't have to repeat any of these words again. It's just not important. So that's what I would do and leave me any questions. Um, but I hope that shows you why you want to use the long tail keyword at the front just to reduce your competition.